Hello and welcome to the 40th weekly vlog. It is Saturday the 5th of October 2019. It's Saturday afternoon. I've just got home from work and as you guys have just seen that was a montage of things that I've been up to from this morning from the moment I've woken up to pretty much the moment that I've come home from work. Anyway so I've just finished doing a 7am to 1pm shift and now I am just got home and I'm just about to get out of of my work uniform as well. I'm starting off my Saturday afternoon by sitting in the living room with Buddy here and we're going to catch up on this week's episodes of EastEnders via the BBC iPlayer as I've missed all of this week's episodes. You may remember in last week's weekly vlog I said that I was going off to watch the Netflix movie in the tall grass as soon as the uh, weekly vlog from last week was going to be uploaded. Well unfortunately I didn't get time to do that um, in the evening on Friday evening so I am going to give In the Tall Grass a watch right now over on Netflix. So it's Saturday night I have just finished watching In the Tall Grass on Netflix and it's really strange, really creepy really weird and I mean there was some really horrifying moments in it oh man it's on par with Midsummer in terms of weirdness <laughs> and with Midsummer it was weird honestly Midsummer was really weird and really messed up and stuff and it was the same for this film this film was like really confusing as well to be honest like really confusing I I know, it was just <laughs> messing with my mind, this film. So anyway, uh, it is available on Netflix, so if you do want to go and check out In the Tall Grass, it's an okay film, it's a little bit messed up, a little bit weird, a little bit scary. Um, yeah, it's, just, it's so confusing as well. Uh, go and check it out, it's on Netflix right now. Uh, it is part of uh, Netflix's feature that they're doing all throughout this month as October is the most spookiest month of the year, obviously, with it nearing to Halloween. Um, and obviously Netflix are doing a little feature called Netflix and Chills. There are going to be so many more horror films coming up on Netflix um, throughout October, so go and check them out. If you're a Walking Dead fan, get excited because it's just been announced that there will be a season 11 of The Walking Dead. The, create, uh, the person in charge of the show uh, has announced that uh, there will be a season 11 and that obviously will be coming up next year. Uh, also as well, if you haven't yet watched uh, the brand new season of The Walking Dead, uh, it, ha it was available uh, this week via Fox here in the UK. Um, obviously, it's the premiere of season 10 of The Walking Dead. Uh, so if you haven't yet caught up on uh, The Walking Dead season 10, you can catch up uh, via now tv the beatles have returned to the uk album charts and they have reached number one in the uk album charts that's 49 years after their original album was really well their 50th actually 50 years uh, after the abbey road album was released and of course it is once again back at number one um when the album first came out, it wasn't. No, it did go to number one, and 50 years later, here we are, and I'm saying to you guys that the album uh, was back at number one. Just been down to have some dinner for dinner tonight. I have had a bratwurst sausage and some stir fry. Currently watching season two of The Simpsons on my TV. Just got back from taking Buddy around the block for his last walk of the day and I'm now just about to get into my pyjamas and get myself into bed. So, good night from me and I'll see you guys in the next scene which will be Sunday. Just got home from work on this Sunday afternoon and I am just about to get out of my work uniform and go downstairs and clean my chinchilla cage out. Just about to have some lunch now. For lunch today, I've got some instant noodles, bacon flavour. While I have my bacon flavoured instant noodles for lunch, I'm going to be watching The Simpsons on my iPad. 
Okay, so my mum is out at the moment, but she's told me to put the chicken in. Um, she already prepped it before she left earlier today. Um, so I am now just about to put this chicken uh, into the oven. So, uh, without further ado, let's um, open this up. That would help. It's going to be a bit hot. Hot, hot, hot. Okay, and then all we do is it's already seasoned. Look, because we've got a roast dinner for dinner tonight, you see. So all I do is just pop it in there and just slide it in. There we go, it's in. And now it's cooking. I am so, so proud of the channel ITV for what they did last night. So last night was the final of Britain's Got Talent, the Champions. Um, and Britain's Got Talent, the Champions has been running for the last six weeks. Uh, obviously, we've seen acts from the UK from past Britain's Got Talent series um, going up against acts that have been performing on the Got Talent stages all over the world, whether it's from America, um, Russia, anywhere like that. Obviously, they have got Got Talent series all over the world, globally, and obviously they've been doing the champions um, over here in the U uh, UK. Um, so anyway, last night on Britain's Got Talent and the Champions, before the winner of Britain's Got Talent and the Champions, was announced uh, Ant and Deck, the presenters of that show um, silenced the studio uh, for a good minute they held a minute's silence now the reason why they did this uh, is because they uh, are launching a campaign that ITV are doing uh, which is um, to get Britain talking. It's called Britain Get Talking uh, and Britain Get Talking is basically a mental health uh, sort of thing so literally what you have to do really um, is for the minute that they fell silent literally look at the person next to you, talk to a friend your your fa your family member whoever it is you literally had to talk to them and make sure that they're okay um with their mental health so anyway that was the idea of the minute silence uh which is why they paused the show um and also as well not only did ant and deck do that uh, on Britain's Got Talent, the championships. But during one of the ad breaks last night on ITV, they also done a two-minute silent advertisement. And what it was, uh, the two-minute silent advert, was they promoted products from, for example, the Seat car, the Gillette razor, the Oral-B toothbrush, um, and all of that, they advertised that all in silent. There was no music, there was no dialogue, it was all presented in silence. And honestly, hats off to ITV for launching that campaign because honestly, it, a mental health is now recognisable, I think, here in the UK. Obviously, loads of people unfortunately do take their lives every year um, because of mental health because they can't carry on uh, with life to be honest with you i've been there i have suffered mental health issues in the past it is not a nice thing um you know and to be honest with you in the end i did speak up i did say um to someone that i'm not I'm not who I used to be, I did need the help, and I did get the help, um, to be honest, and, you know, and I do still have people out there that are supporting me um, as well to make sure that my mental health uh, doesn't go back downhill, um, so anyway, um, but hats off to ITV, um, honestly, get, just Britain get talking, you know, make sure today you do one thing, you message someone, whether it's a friend, 
a family member, just talk to someone today and just ask them if they're okay because you just don't know what they are going through and tell them that it's okay to not be okay, um, all right? And honestly, ha like I say, hats off to ITV. You've done a, a, an amazing job in making sure that Britain gets talking. Jason here wishing you all a very good morning and as another new week dawns we have another fresh new look here on ITV with this week's resident artist Stuart Robinson taking on the challenge. To find out more search ITV Creates for all the details. Now time to join Pierce and Susanna to help kickstart this brand new week on Good Morning Britain. It's the final episode of our critically acclaimed drama and confession tonight, but will Halliwell get away with it? That's here at nine. Now, though, laying down the law, it's Judge Rinder. On the hunt for a Bobby Dazzler this afternoon, the Duke is back with Dickinson's Real Deal at two. Now, though, put the kettle on. It's chat time with the Loose Women. Will the dealers flash their cash today? We're in Corby with Dickinson's Real Deal at two. After the ITV lunchtime news. A team of firefighters tackle the tower this afternoon. They join Warwick for Tenable in an hour. But first, we're in Corby with Real Deal. It's Monday afternoon, just got home from work after doing a 7am until 4pm uh, finish at work uh, and I've just got home from work and got out of my work uniform as well. Last week, a brand new album came out from the singer Mika. Uh, obviously, he's well known for the tracks Grace Kelly, uh, Lollipop, uh, Big Girls Are Beautiful, and other so many more tracks that I could name. Um, anyway, he's released a brand new album, and it's called My Name Is Michael Holbrook, and uh, it's it's an amazing album. Honestly, I keep listening it, uh, listening to it on repeat because it's just such a good album uh quite a lively album as well so i thought you know what let's let's just take a look at this dear jealousy you know every part of me hiding where no one can see i want you to leave Jealous of your face, of your lips, of your eyes Jealous of your house and the car you drive Jealous of your truth and I'm jealous of lies I'm jealous It's time for you to leave I'm really, I'm jealous, I'm jealous, I'm jealous of us I'm jealous of everything that I know you can be But never really seems enough Jealousy, bring the music back to me I can't even write a song if you're standing over me Lips like Campari and words like soda Can I come over? Sitting by the seaside, drinking out the sunshine Here's the wild we go, dancing in San Remo You'll be there in a couple of hours, to the place with the yellow flowers I went to hell last night Followed you there, I was standing by your side But in the darkest place, a saving grace After all we've been through There's a little bit of God in everything From the sun in the sky And the tears that you cry When you die and you're sad And your future's just as bad There's a little bit of God in everything When you're hurt and you're sad Even in your darkest hour There's a little bit of God in everything My name is Michael 
was born in 1983 I'm the tiny love you get me This tiny love, it might be small My name is Paloma I was born in 81 Ups and downs, I had my fun, but now I'm high with a tiny love. I give up a hundred thousand else for just this one, and I will stay with a tiny love. Dancing in a pack for ballerinas, she says, Don't believe everything you see. Acrylics with makeup and a heart on the sleeve She says, dance on, come on Dance your life, your life's a way the best dress on Spin and jump and messing up her hair But it doesn't matter Cause I can't be your slave to the rhythm Don't make me cry, 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 cry If it's only pain you deliver Currently watching The Simpsons on my iPad. Tuesday afternoon, just got home from work after doing a 7am to 1pm uh, shift at work. And I'm just about to get out of my work uniform right now. Watching a documentary on my TV called Wrinkles the Clown. And whilst I uh, watch that, I'm going to have some celebrations along with some Pepsi Max. Watching The Walking Dead Season 3 Episode 7 on Amazon Prime Video. Sony have given us an official uh, launch window for the Sony PS5, that's the PlayStation 5. Uh, now it's not coming out this Christmas, no, um, but it has been announced that the Sony PlayStation 5 will be coming out uh, during the holiday of 2020, that's right, so around about this time next year we can expect to see the PlayStation 5 hit the shop shelves and reach uh, Sony customers' homes as well. Uh, they've also talked a little bit about the controller that will come with the Sony PS5. Um, now the PS5's controller is going to look slightly the same as what the DualShock 4 controller looks like on the PS4 console. Um, but it has been revealed that uh, inside the controller is going to be slightly different. Uh, they are going to be having some uh, haptic feedback uh, which will allow the players to feel uh, exactly what's going on in the game. So for example if you was uh, playing a racing game um, and your racing car just hit the wall uh, you'll be able to feel that um, in real time which is sounds absolutely amazing it'll also allow you to feel uh well to it will also allow you uh to uh feel what it would feel like if say for example your racing car was on um some mud or some grass uh instead of the racetrack uh, and it'll be the same with football games as well you'll be able to feel how it feels when you're playing a bit of tackling in the game um so anyway so that is the sony ps5 controller in slightly more detail um and also as well um talking of sony ps5 if you're thinking will it be backward compatible to the ps4 well some good news if you are a ps4 owner looking to upgrade to the ps5 because the playstation 5 will allow you to uh play the playstation 4 games and the playstation virtual reality games as well on the brand new sony playstation 5 so that is playstation 5 it's coming out next year at the end of 2020 and well, there are going to be a lot more details throughout this next year about PlayStation 5, so stay tuned for more details. So this morning before I started work, I 
had a little bit of a shock, really. Um, because for the first time this morning, I opened up Instagram. And on Instagram, literally, I was technically shown this. Like, literally. So this is Instagram. It's now gone into dark mode. Now, um, basically, what you have to do in order to get dark mode is you have to... Um, obviously update the app if you haven't yet updated the app um and then obviously you will get dark mode but i'm gonna try and test something out and you guys are gonna watch okay um because what i'm going to do is i'm going to test so if i go to uh display and brightness and i'm gonna change my um, phone from dark mode to light mode um, for a little bit okay uh, and then I'm going to come out of this and then I'm going to go back in to Instagram look how awesome that is so literally so there it is look it's in it's on its normal mode white so obviously you've got the white background and obviously you can see people's photos um and then if i go back into settings again go into dark mode because there we go that's now on dark mode if i come out of here and go back into instagram once again look there we go it's back in dark mode again so that is um pretty damn awesome i i quite like that i think that's quite a cool feature uh to be honest really cool feature um and you know and i know that uh a little while ago um there was some tests um in terms of uh instagram doing dark mode um so and i'm glad that now it's been publicly released um because i think it'll be a lot easier on the eyes um you know it looks quite good it looks really really good so i'm glad that instagram have joined forces with technically iphone really um and made it a little bit easier on the eyes um with dark mode another thing that's changed with instagram uh is the way how the how you basically do your stories is so i'm gonna go down to the bottom here um so these are the options you've now got um so you've got music um and obviously look it's got the music icon there and if you swipe along oh no i didn't want that if you swipe along um so like there obviously look you can see that i'm a filter there we are i'm a filter um and they have all sorts of filters they've got this one here as well um you know this one so they've got so many filters anyway um so let me go back into this and then let's come out of this so and then obviously you've got other options so obviously this is going to bring up all the music that you can um play and stuff on instagram stories uh then you've got the hands free option which obviously allows you to record uh you've got the super zoom as well uh, which i don't really do to be honest you've also got boomerang as well uh and then obviously you take a normal photo on your story create as well which i feel as though has got a nice little looking text type if i type something here that the words are a little bit smaller to be honest um in that front but that there we go um there's that anyway and then obviously you've got the option uh to go live on instagram as well um and it tells you at the top there look who is active on instagram as well so that is another change uh for you on instagram um obviously in terms of stories and stuff so there we go that is the new update uh from instagram currently watching the simpsons season 4 episode 9 on my tv it's wednesday afternoon that means we are halfway through the week and halfway through this weekly vlog i've just got home from work after doing a 7 a.m till 1 p.m shift it was meant to be a 7 a.m till 4 p.m shift but i got to go home early today because 
Well, there wasn't really much to do at work, so I managed to get everything done, and it was all nice, and we were in a good place on the department, so I got to go home a little bit early today. Um, anyway, I've got some news to bring to you, actually. Um, so basically, a couple of weeks ago, I got an email from Bournemouth Bloggers, um, and I haven't been to an event with them for quite a while now, so... Um, Basically, on Saturday this weekend, I'm going to be going to the stable in Bournemouth uh, because it's going to be their uh, Cider Awards uh, final 2019. Um, now, I'm a big lover of cider. I do love cider. Um, you know, I do love drinking it. Not all the... I mean, obviously, I don't drink it all the time, you know. I mean, just on the odd occasions, I do drink cider, and it's really nice. Um, but anyway, so obviously, they've got the Cider Awards going on at uh, the stable in Bournemouth um, on uh, Saturday night, so I'm going to be attending that. Um, and to be honest, I really can't wait. Honestly, I'm really looking forward to it. So, um, really can't wait for that. Uh, I think I will do a blog post about the Cider Awards uh, final 2019, to be honest. Um, I think I will, and obviously I will be vlogging it as well for next week's weekly vlog, uh, so you can see those scenes in weekly vlog number 41, hitting YouTube next Friday. Okay, so I'm on my MacBook at the moment, so I'm currently watching this little video tutorial thing, um, which is called How to Install Mac OS 10.1.1. Uh, 10.14 Mojave on an unsupported Mac. Now, my MacBook Pro is actually an unsupported Mac, so it cannot get um, the macOS Mojave on it. This has got High Sierra on it. Um, so if I come out of this, come out of this, uh, you'll see there in the corner I have um, downloaded the macOS Mojave. Now, I've needed to um, actually I've needed to get a USB, which I did get today. I got a 64 gig uh, USB memory stick, which I'm going to install the macOS Mojave onto. Okay, I may have just had to re-download macOS Mojave on my laptop, but this time though, I am putting it in my memory stick, which I've renamed macOS. Now I know that macOS has recently had a newer update which is called macOS Catalina which obviously kills off iTunes but to be honest with you at the moment I'm kind of feeling safe with just using macOS Mojave for the time being and maybe at a later date I will try and see if maybe I can install macOS Mojave onto this unsupported MacBook Pro. <laughs> Currently watching Zombieland the movie on my TV. So it's Wednesday night and I have been numerously attempting to get macOS Mojave uh, to install on my Mac uh, on my MacBook Pro 7.1. Um, now I can confirm this, okay? Uh, so what's been happening is my MacBook at the moment is going a little bit slow. It is running very slowly at the moment. Just I think it's just rebooting uh, and just trying to up, just trying to get you know Mac, Mac OS Mojave to start working on the MacBook Pro. But I have managed to install, download, well, download and install Mac uh, Mac OS Mojave onto my MacBook Pro system. Um, so this is what is coming up on the system right now. So obviously it's just in its boot up mode, um, but hopefully very, uh, very shortly that should uh, go into macOS Mojave. Um, so I will let that boot up and then in a few minutes time, I will show you guys um, what has come up on my MacBook Pro. Oh wow. Okay, I'm gonna go in here. This is macOS Mojave. I'm gonna put in my password. Here we go. Oh, this is gonna be amazing. I can already sense it. Right, it's booting up, it's just loading. I'll leave that to load for a sec. 
okay it is just currently setting up the Mac it's nearly nearly done okay it's just currently optimizing my Mac um, anyway and here we go so I'm just gonna press so it's just come up saying new patch updates are available for this model so that's the software update patch the night shift patch the Siri patch and the news open CL uh, patch as well uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to install these four items so it's just gonna install the software update patch but I mean come on this looks absolutely amazing to be honest and now it just needs my password which I'm going to put in now so here we go this is what Mac OS Mojave looks like on my MacBook Pro like I say this MacBook Pro that I've got here is actually an unsupported uh, MacBook Pro that actually um, doesn't allow you to uh, install Mac OS Mojave uh, but I found a little hack uh, on the internet in order to get Mac OS Mojave to work on my MacBook Pro laptop um, and it seems to be running perfectly um, you know it seems to be running normal um, you know I can open up uh, my web browsers um, like Safari for example I can open that up and obviously it will then come up uh, with all of my um, well it will come up with Safari once it's decided to boot up um, so here we go it should be coming up for you now there we go look I can now uh, go on and check Facebook and Twitter and all of that um, so there we go um, but yeah, this is Mac OS Mojave. I absolutely love it. I love the dark mode on this. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Thursday's part of the weekly vlog. It is 25 to 8 at the time recording this part of the weekly vlog. And I'm just about to open my curtains now. And let's find out what's going on outside this morning, outside my window. In terms of the weather, it's looking a little bit damp. Although, I think it's going to be a really nice day outside. Because I think the sun is trying to come through. Uh, and there is a little bit of blue skies around as well. Um, so there we go it's looking very autumnal out there I think the leaves are definitely starting to come off the trees as well anyway um, now I am just about to get dressed from my pyjamas into some clothes um, and then after that I'm probably going to go on to my uh, laptop over there um, because I was doing something on my laptop last night and I couldn't complete it so I put my laptop on uh, sleep mode uh, last night so I'm gonna get dressed and then I'm gonna go on to my MacBook now it's time for me to have some breakfast and for breakfast this morning I'm going to have some chocolatey square cereal now that I've just had some breakfast I'm going to take up a flask of cup of tea with me upstairs to my room currently watching the Simpsons on my TV Okay, so it is Thursday afternoon. I have just had some lunch. For lunch today, I had some uh, macaroni cheese, which you just make in the saucepan, um, which I got a few weeks ago from Aldi. Um, also, uh, for lunch, I picked up these yesterday. Look how good these look. Honestly, look. Uh, these are chocolate apples. Now, obviously, you only find them at Halloween. Uh, I wish they did them all year round, because honestly, it's like... You know, it's unhealthy and healthy at the same time. Honestly. Um, so I picked them up yesterday and I might have I might have one of them now. Um, and another one maybe later or maybe tomorrow or something like that. Um, but I'm going to have that. Um, and also as well, I'm going to have some biscuits as well. Some Miss Molly's uh, chocolate chip cookie biscuit things that I picked up the other day uh, from work as well. Um, I'm just currently downstairs at the moment. I'm watching uh, the movie The Secret Life of Pets 2 uh, on the TV downstairs. And uh, also as well, I was meant to be meeting up with one of my friends today called Hope. Um, who I have mentioned in the past and in the weekly vlogs. Uh, that, and I have met her in the past as well. Uh, but she's a little bit busy today. So we have rescheduled and hopefully we'll be seeing each other next Thursday. Thursday so fingers crossed I'll be meeting her next Thursday instead of today um, but 
yeah, so there we go. Look at this. For the first time in God knows how long, I am wearing a jumper because I am freezing cold. Honestly, it's absolutely freezing cold. So I've had to come up and get a jumper on. Okay, so I'm all ready to go. I've got my jacket on, all ready to go and see the movie Joker at the cinema. Um, so in the next scene that you'll see, I will let you know what I thought of the movie. Good morning, everybody. It is Friday morning. I have just woke up with the time just gone past five past eight at the time of recording this part of the weekly vlog. Uh, now, I didn't get home till quite late last night because of the, um, the movie Joker. So, uh, obviously, in the last scene, I told you that I was going to let you guys know um, what the Joker was like. Um, for me, Joker was pretty... It was all right, actually. It was quite all right. I mean... There was a lot of dark scenes in the movie, but obviously that was to be expected because it is a Joker film. Um, I'll tell you what though, Joe Quinn uh, Phoenix played the Joker quite well, I'm not going to lie. And he did a lot of, I think he did a lot of research into the role before he played uh, the part of the Joker. And uh, to be honest with you as well... Um, Here's a little fact for you about Joe Quinn Phoenix. He lost quite a, a subliminal amount of weight. Like, he lost a lot of weight uh, to play the part of Arthur Fleck or the Joker uh, in the movie. And to be honest with you, there is quite a few scenes where you can see him without any shirt on. And you can tell that he hardly ate uh, because literally, he's just literally just skin and bones. In the movie so um, anyway so it is quite a good film um, you know there is quite a few violent scenes quite a few dark scenes in some places as well uh, there's quite a few twists and turns in the movie as well as the movie goes along um, but all in all it's quite a good film to be honest really did enjoy it and I can understand now why some of the critics are calling it uh, film of the year and giving it five star ratings and stuff uh, so if you do want to go and see the Joker uh, movie it is out right now in cinemas at the time of recording this weekly vlog but uh, back to today though and it is Friday morning I'm just about to get dressed Okay, now that I have got dressed, it is time for us to have a look and see what's going on outside my window, like we do every single part of this weekly vlog when, you know, when it's morning, anyway. Uh, <laughs> so, without further ado, oh my god, it's raining, it's dark, it's windy. It looks very autumnal out there. I mean, look, literally down there. Honestly, it's definitely autumn now. I mean, come on. Wow. It's literally that dark outside that I've had to switch these lights on here. That's how dark it is. Anyway, I have now come downstairs and I'm just about to have some breakfast. For breakfast today, I'm having the usual, which is chocolatey square cereal. Just made myself a cup of tea. Okay, so I'm just coming upstairs to put my coat on um, because I'm just about to leave to see my uh, support worker. Uh, today with my support worker, I'm going to be going um, and... What am I going to do? Oh yeah, I'm going to meet his uh, one of his clients called uh, Ben. So I'm seeing him today. Um, so I'm just on my way. I'm just going to leave in a few minutes' time. Uh, to go and see them too. But before I do, I want to very quickly turn your attention to outside my window. Let me just zoom in on this. Someone has lost their umbrella. So if you, um, <laughs> if you know someone who has lost an umbrella recently, it's outside my house. So it is Friday afternoon. I've just got back from seeing my support worker and seeing 
uh, one of his clients called Ben. Um, ben is actually a really nice guy to be honest, really lovely guy. Uh, we went into Paul and went for a Costa um, and it was just really a case of getting to know one another really, seeing what we had in common. I mean he like I mean he doesn't mind going to the cinema um and we also spoke about um going to um going to uh, going to play a game of bowling as well um so that's what um we're going we might do that at some point go and play a game of bowling and go to the cinema together as well which would be really nice um so other than that that's pretty much it really um also as well joining me my support worker and my support workers client uh was also one of my old support workers uh fabio um so it was really nice to see him and really nice to catch up with him again uh, i haven't last time i saw him was um middle of july it was so it's been a while but it's been nice to have a little catch up with him um he said that he saw me at work um on tuesday and then he went back to my work later on in the day and then he said that he didn't see me he thought i was hiding from him um and i said oh it was probably because i was working um until one o'clock because i think i did work till one on tuesday um so anyway so it was really nice to catch up with him as well anyway i was going to go to weatherspoons to have some lunch but the bus took me home because i got the wrong bus so i just thought you know what i might have weatherspoons next week um i might have a weatherspoons breakfast to be honest next week um anyway so instead i have decided that i'm going to have some lunch here for lunch today i'm going to have uh some pasta and sauce this one is chicken and mushroom flavor yesterday i had um macaroni cheese pasta and sauce which was really really nice um so yeah anyway um but i'm also feeling really really hungry because i really want some noodles as well so i might have some noodles with it as well i know you probably are thinking oh that's gross um but you know i'm not gonna mix it together don't worry i'm just gonna you know maybe have them separate or something like that but you know i just fancy some noodles as well as chicken and mushroom flavored pasta so that's what i'm gonna have for lunch today Look how good this chicken and mushroom flavoured pasta looks. Whilst having my lunch I'm going to catch up with some EastEnders on BBC iPlayer. So I have just finished uh, cleaning out the dishwasher, getting all the stuff out of the dishwasher and I've just done some washing up and uh, just put it all in the dishwasher. Uh, all the bits from lunch, all the bits from breakfast, all the bits from last night, so that's all in the dishwasher. The dishwasher's now on, so I've just done that. Terminator Dark Fate's running time has been confirmed. Uh, the running time for Terminator Dark Fate is going to be 128 minutes long and 3 seconds to be precise. And that obviously means that it's just over 2 hours. It's 2 hours and 8 minutes long. Uh, meanwhile, it is uh, going to be released um, in cinemas here in the UK on October 25th and in the US on November 1st. And that is it from this week's weekly vlog. Thank you all for watching. Uh, please don't forget to give me a like and subscribe if you have enjoyed this week's weekly vlog. Uh, next week is the Cider Awards final uh, over in the stable in Bournemouth. So you'll see some footage of that. And also as well, you'll see me doing my day-to-day -day bits and lots lots more okay anyway that is all from me thank you all very much for watching i will see you guys with another weekly vlog next friday but from me it's goodbye thanks for watching see you guys next week